All right, let's get started. Welcome to Let's Build It on Drupal 8. A short introduction about me. Uh, my name is Montaña. I'm Spanish, but I'm currently living in Brussels. I work for Everis Places in the European Commission, and I am also part of the board of the Spanish Association and helping in the Drupal Association. So let's get started. First of all, please, a huge applause for the contributor of Drupal 8. <laughs> you rock. Okay, so Drupal 8 is removing barriers for all the site builders to do what they usually do really great, which is just build. And it's doing it using things like customization options with views, powerful custom blocks, accessibility integration with all the standard technologies, easy configuration management, and a lot of things that we will see during this session. So finally, Drupal-A will be more powerful and flexible for site builders. During this session, we will check the fully responsive of the administration, block layout, comment types, content types, how is creating new content, multilingual for sure, configuration management, and of course, views. So I plan just uh, videos. If you are not seeing properly, just tell me and we can try to manage or maybe we can do a live demo or whatever. So let's start. So as you can see, this is the new toolbar of Drupal 8. It's pretty nice. You have a button to change it into the left. You have, of course, all the typical links display most, which is, is new. You can move again your toolbar and it's fully responsive, as you can see. And of course, the administration's uh, pages are also responsive, like in the late, latest versions of Drupal 7. Block layouts is a huge improvement now because uh, you will see that we have a new um, administration page with a part specific for your custom blocks. And it's really nice because you actually uh, will be able to add uh, your blocks twice, three times, whatever you want. You will have your own cache for your block and a lot of stuff, which is new. So blocks, uh, the block page is uh, like always in a structure. This is the typical blocks that you can find in, in a common distribution of Drupal. And as I told you, you have the custom library. You can create here your block. So let's create one. Let's see, welcome. And let's put something like, hello Barcelona, why not? Yeah, I made a mistake, sorry. <laughs> and it's as easy as you are seeing. <clears throat> Here you can find your block. So now we are going to the block layout. <coughs> sorry. And let's add your, our block. Maybe in the header, why not? You can see that uh, this is the blocks that you can find. And in the top of the page, you have a search just to find your block. So the title, you can now just click if you want to display or not your title. This is the cache settings that I told you, it's really nice. And you can place it wherever you want and it's working pretty well. So we have our block in the header and let's add the same block in the footer. So we can search it again, the search is working pretty well. And you can also edit your name machine for your blog, which is amazing for the front ends. Let's save it and see what is happening. Yeah, we have it there. So we actually uh, included the blog twice. 
And we will check now in the front page that it will appear, of course, twice, one in the header and one in the footer. <laughs> yeah, please, we no, don't be shy. <laughs> okay. The comment types, yeah. We have a new entity which is comment types. So actually you will be able to create new content types for your content, uh, new comment types, sorry, for your content types. So let's create one, why not? It's really easy, as you can see, the target entity is to check if you are going to include the, the comment in a content, in a taxonomy, or whatever. So here we have our comment, let's add some fields for them. So in that case, I just put an email. You can see here the new fields which are part of the core of Drupal, 7, of Drupal 8, sorry. So yeah, we actually added a new field. And we will check now <coughs> Uh, the configuration of the form of the comment types. Actually, you will be able to manage uh, the form of every content type or every entity and also the, uh, manage the display like usual. So as you can see, we can change the form and it's working pretty well, of course, because Drupal 8 is awesome. Let's check now how it's creating a new content type. So in that case, it's the same page that you can find in Drupal 7, but with one or two improvements. So let's create, for example, a city. Uh, this stuff is the same that you can usually find in Drupal 7, so no changes here. Now we have our content type, we will add some fields. So you will be able to uh, check data, emails, link, booleans, or whatever you want, it's just really new. You will be able to add a um, reference, including blogs, uh, views, and all the stuff. So here I am I creating a picture uh, field, which is pretty similar that on Drupal 7. <coughs> So let's put it required. Let's see, okay, station are okay. Let's put a directory. And save it. Okay, now we are going to add the comment type that we created and also a custom block. So to include your comment type, the only thing that you have to choose is comments in the field select the comment type that you already created, which is really easy. And here you will find the configuration of your comments, if it's open, closed, hidden, how many comments per page, optional, required. So here we have our comment, and let's add now a custom block. So for add custom blocks, you have to go to reference, others, Put your name machine. Maybe you want to add your custom block twice. In this case, it's only one. And here uh, you can find, well, you can find your custom. The configuration of your custom block is here. And in the content type, you have also uh, the possibility to change uh, the form display of your uh, content where you are going to create a new node. And you also, as usual, uh, you can change uh, the manage display of the, of the content. So I just made some changes just to show you that Drupal 8 is working well. Let's click in save. And voila, here is our content type. So now 
Now that we have our content type, let's create a node. I'm from Cáceres, it's a city here from Spain, so I, it's obviously that I'm going to create a node which is Cáceres. Here you can find a new view just to show the fields that you added in your content, which is really nice. So let's create a city. As I told you, it could be Cáceres. Here you can find some nice information about my city. <coughs> and of course, let's add some pretty views about my porn town. So this is the Plaza Mayor of Cáceres. You will see it in a while. So one of the most improvements on Drupal 8 is that by adding pictures, images in the body, it's completely responsive. So you will be able to see it in a minute, but it's working really nice. It's a huge improvement. Let's put an alternative text, which is now mandatory. And this is our custom block. So here we go. We have here a new node, which is Cáceres. So check now the responsive. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> so one of the, of the most improvement too of Drupal 8 is that you have a functionality which is quick edit. You will be able to edit your node in the public face of your website. And uh, the WYSI week is now included in the course, so which you will have all the, all the buttons here in the public part. So what I'm doing here is to change one picture for another. I know it's a risk, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to work well. So this is another uh, photo of the amazing Plaza Mayor of Cáceres. Let's put it in the center. Okay, just clicking in save, you have your note ready. And now let's check if the comments are working well. So, hi Cáceres. Greeting from Barcelona. <laughs> let's put obviously a fake image <laughs> and save. So as you can see, the look and feel of the comments is really nice. And yeah, we have here our new content. Multilingual. I'm not going to um, uh, talk too much about the multilingual because uh, there is another session uh, just with the main improvement of multilingual, I recommend you to attend. So <clears throat> what we are doing here, this is the new uh, page of the modules. Finally, we have a search to check if your module is installed or not and all the stuff, horrible. So multilingual is just for modules now, it's not a lot too much. And you can configure here or in the configuration page. One of the big uh, amazing scenes is the tools of uh, the modules. As far as I know, it's only a multilingual, but I'm pretty sure that you will find it in other modules. So, so as you can see, no more read TST more. And yeah, it's working really well. I would like to talk a little bit about the configuration management before to just show you the video. So the configuration management is a huge improve. It's working really well now, but you have to take into account that it's only working uh, when you have a instance of the same Drupal 8. So Drupal 8 now uh, has an ID, which is like an identity card of your website. So you will be able to use the configuration management between uh, Drupal 8 that have the same identity card. So if you have to move some functionality or whatever you need, maybe some configuration uh, between Drupal 8 that they don't have the same identity card, you have to use features 
features is working pretty well now on Drupal 8. And there is a session after that one that I recommend you to go because it's going to be awesome. They will uh, talk a little bit about configuration management, but uh, they will talk also about features, so it could be great. So what we are going to do is, I have two uh, instances of the same Drupal 8. As you have seen, I create a content type, I created a block, and I created a comment time, a comment type. So what we are going to do is just to move all this stuff to another instance of Drupal 8. So let's see if it's working. So the configuration management is the configuration uh, page. You can just import export all your configuration or you can use the single export to uh, import or export what you want. So you will find here a lot of functionality that you can move, like fields, views, as I said, um, blocks, all your content types, actually the configuration of your modules, you can move it too. So what I'm doing here is just to make an export of my configuration. And this is my another instance of Drupal 8, second instance. It's not too fancy, but it's working okay. So let's import it. Here I made a mistake, it's not download, sorry. You don't have to um, touch the file, you can just import the start DC and it's working well. So here in this page, you can see all the difference which are part of the core and the new um, entities that I created. And just clicking in one, you can see what is changing. In this case, I'm showing a new one. But let's check, for example, the, the name of our site. And you will see perfectly that is Drupal actually is showing you what is changed. So here, my name was second instance, and now it's only Drupal 8. Let's import. It's going to take a while, so I'm very sorry. Because actually, we are moving a lot of stuff from one Drupal 8 to other. <laughs> yeah. And you will not need any more the typical paper where you are taking notes and change the site name and change the email. I create a blog and it has this and this. And I create a content type with these fields, with this configuration of every field. So, yeah. It's even better, of course. 50%. Yeah. So let's check. You will see. So you will be able to find the new content type with the fields, with the same configuration that we put in the other one, in the other Drupal 8. Yeah. It's the city that we created. Let's check if the comment type is there. Yeah, it's there. So actually, it's working pretty well. The configuration management is a huge improvement. And finally, I will talk to you about views. Views are part of the core now. So all the views, uh, like for example, the user profile, and uh, it's part of here. Front end page is also a view as it is enabled uh, by default. And the, all the administra administration's uh, pages are part of the view, so you will be able to change it. So as you can see here, you can find this uh, stuff. Let's change the page of the people to check if we can maybe remove some stuff and see if it's working in Drupal 8. So 
you will be able to create, replicate, clone, and change the, the views of your administration part, and it's working really nice. So now, as you can see, we will not have any more um, we will, uh, we will not be able to find a user by role. Yeah. So, basically, as you can see, Drupal 8 is going to be really awesome. I think that I was really fast, so now we have like 25 minutes just for a question. Should I be uh, scared? Okay, before of the questions, I just uh, wanted to show you that I put here, oh, sorry. I put here some resources, it's uh, really good stuff, it's some recommendations about site building, about site building in general, about site building just in Drupal 8, and of course, uh, some be best practice uh, to work properly and to do a very huge configuration and very stable configuration. And now if you want, we can start with the questions. I have already uh, prepared my Drupal 8, so maybe if you want, we can check something in the in the environment. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute, because I think that we have a microphone for you. Hello. Do we have a microphone for the questions? Ah, it's in the middle. Okay. Uh, my, my question is about configuration management. Mm -hmm. You said that you, you need the, the same ID, uh, the, ca the identity card uh, between two Drupal 8. What, what do you mean? Uh, so now when you just install a Drupal 8, uh, you will find an ID, which is part of your uh, site. Obviously, you can change it uh, hacking with Rust. I can show you if you want, but actually, uh, what you have to do is, so let's put an example. Let's imagine that you uh, you are now working in a Drupal 8 project. So obviously uh, you will work maybe in a team. So maybe you are two people working. So you will, you will be sure that you have the same instance of the Drupal 8. So what I usually do is just deploy a Drupal 8, copy code, and copy database and put it in another environment. So you will be sure that you will have the same ID in, this, in the two Drupal 8. If you don't do it, you will export your configuration on one Drupal 8, you will try to import in another Drupal 8, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be fail. It's not going to be work. So Drupal 8 will say to you, oh, you are not my instant, you are not my um, twin. You see? So it's by default. When you when you install a Drupal 8, you will have your identity card. Any other question? Come on. I have a Drupal 8 already prepared for you. You are not curious to see? No? OK. Anyway, I will be just around. Ah, yeah. I have a question. Um, you said uh, Drupal will serve um, responsive images and the content, yeah. but is it just removing the width and height attributes of actually serving different images? Uh, yeah, it's working by default with all the pictures or images that you... That so you, you, so you create different instances of images? You yeah, upload a high-res image? Actually, image is a new entity. Okay. I can show you. Please. You have to wait a while because I have to launch my virtual machine. So actually you can find images, date, as I told, uh, booleans, links, telephone, as a field, but uh, images are an entity.
So just to show you the image, I'm going to add just a field in a basic page. As you see, it's just a reference, so it means that it's an entity. Okay, so every image that you will put in, in Drupal will be responsive by default. Okay. Any other questions? No? Yes, and the module display suite, will that still be uh, necessary in Drupal 8? For creating view modes and yeah, uh, those kind of things. Yeah, it's here by default. Ah. So as I mentioned, you will have two kind of display. Uh, so you will have forms, and you will have the typical view mode. Okay. Uh, you ask me about display suite. Yeah, if it's still ah, going to be necessary or not. I actually don't know. I don't know if anybody in this room knows something. Yeah. So another huge improvement. <laughs> Thank you. So he told that display suite is already on Drupal 8 and it's working really well, so you can just use it and it's nice. Anybody else? Yeah? I was curious about uh, features and exporting and the g uh, dealing with conflicts uh, in features. Well, I think that you should go to the features session. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and maybe you can ask there and say, I want to see it, make a live demo. They will be scared. <laughs> Another nasty question. Yeah. Can you show the, how the contact form uh, works nowadays in Drupal 8? Because you can create your own contact form, I guess, now with uh, your own fields in there. Yeah. So you would get a kind of a web form functionality in Drupal 8? Yeah. So we can stop using web form? The web form, I think that it's a part of the core. Yeah, okay, but you can make your own content form, Yeah. right? Yeah. Contact form in uh, with your own fields? Yeah. Could you show a little bit of that? Or? Yeah, sure. I never did, but let's see. I never check it this. Contact, okay. Let's check first the configuration. Yeah. Okay, so we have here, yeah, the typical personal contact form. Let's add a new one. Okay, so it's here. Let's take a look. Yep. Let me check if it's working first. Well, obviously it's not going to send my <clears throat> my email. So, yeah, you can add fields, of course, manage the form display, manage the public display, tran translate it, and all the stuff. Do you want me to add some fields? 
that is for yeah okay any other questions What about the media management? It's more simple than in uh, uh, Drupal 7. So your question is very general. So you are talking about how to include maybe YouTube videos or other well, kind of things? It's, it's about the, the, med, the med, is, is the media management uh, included in the... No. no, it's not included, but I think that it's being migrated to Drupal 8. And I think that is, uh, they have a good app. So uh, if you want, we can try to install, but it, for me it's okay, it's not part of the core. If you want, you, we can check together what is part of the core now. Yes. So I'm just going to scroll down to see blogs, book, editor, configuration management, Links, database, fields, blah, blah, forums, notes, responsive image, system, taxonomy, blah, blah, views. We have now the migrate. We have a site all uh, later uh, after it is um, entity reference, date, image, links, telephone. Of course, the multilingual is part of the core now, and we have the the functionality of the rest. Okay. Hello, yeah. Kathy. Hi. There is um, the media team is sprinting on media uh, on Friday. So yeah. um, you'll be able to experience <laughs> exactly what can, it can do there. So I would say definitely come on Friday. And contribute. Any other questions? So don't forget the sprints on Friday that, that Kathy told you. It's really amazing to sprint. It's a really good experience. Um, in my, from my point of view, it's the best part of the DrupalCon. So be sure to be there. Uh, if your feedback will be more than welcome for me. So please take just a moment to evaluate my session. And thank you very much for being here. <laughs>